Well, it doesn't look much like spring yet, but the arrival of my Time Out Deluxe Motorcycle Camper must mean that spring's just around the corner. And I thought you might like to take a look at how these are assembled. After I get it off the truck, I like to go around and take a look at the carton, uh, check for any potential damage. I've got a hole here, but it looks like this is okay. There's nothing, uh, nothing wrong here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these metal straps off and put this together. First thing I'm going to do here is pull the aerodynamic cooler out of its box and check that to make sure that's okay. That looks like that's fine. So now I'll lift the top off and I'll use that to hold all the stuff that I'm going to get rid of. These are wrapped up pretty well, so I'll take this off and just take a look at the exterior to make sure it's okay. I'm sure it is. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is pop the latches on either side of the lid. And I'm going to open this up. I'm going to prop the top and the bed area together. And that will hold it open and let me unload it. Let's see, so what do we got here? Well, we have the add room. We'll take a look at another video about how to set that up. Uh, we also have the L-shaped awning. We have the air conditioning stand. We've got some poles that you can use to support the tent if it's wet outside. I have 10 poles associated with the add room. And these can also be used for the L-shaped awning. Let's see, what else do we have here? Well, we have a bag of cat crap. Wait a minute. A bag of cat crap. She kind of snuck that in there. Well, I guess I'll deal with that later. Uh, this is a tripod in case I want to use the table outside of the camper. I've got a chair. And let's see. These are the standard wheels that come with it. The 12 inch white steel wheels. I might change those later. Uh, I've got a queen sized air mattress. A cover for everything. And then I've got some instructions, license plate frame, wiring harness, uh, brake controller, center caps. I've got a uh, coupler with a tongue and uh, safety chains and some hardware. So let's take a look at how all this goes together. All right, the first thing I'll do here is remove the tongue. And... Uh, as you can see, that has the VIN on it. If you're looking for the sticker with the VIN number, that's on the tongue. Now, I'm going to take the screws out of the jack stands on the front of the camper so that I can use this flat jack and jack it up. And that'll make it real easy to put the wheels on. Center cap goes on, and then I will slide a wheel in place. Now I'm going to tighten these down just enough to move the camper. Uh, before I take it out for the first time, I'll tighten those down to about uh, 50 to 60 foot-pounds of torque. Now I'm going to pull out the wiring harness so I can run that through the tongue. Now I got the lighted cooler package and uh, the wiring harness is pre-wired here, so I've got a pair of leads that go to the lighted cooler package. On the front here, I've got a 5-pin flat plug for the lights, and I've got a 2-pin plug for the brakes. You can always change that. I might change that later to something smaller, but for now, I'll leave it as it is. So after I run the wiring harness through the tongue, I'm then going to run the tongue back through those two brackets that are on the front of the camper. And I'm gonna use the grade eight hardened bolts that come with it to lock that into place. Now this comes with nylock nuts, so you don't need to use washers with it. And now just uh, taking a look underneath of the camper, I've got a nice solid powder coated steel frame 
uh, independent rubber torsion suspension. I've got a spot there in the back where I can uh, mount a spare tire underneath. It's just a nice, clean, sturdy setup. This camper will last for a long time. Now I've run uh, two bolts through the coupler in the front and I'm ready to pull this off the pallet. Now I would recommend that you either put a set of uh, uh, runners or um, something underneath the tires to run it off the pallet or uh, since I'm not going to keep the pallet I'm just going to cut it up uh, because if you try to run the wheels over that middle section uh, they'll drop down and then you'll be stuck. Well this is just the start of the snow that we're supposed to get this spring so I'm going to put this camper away for now. If you'd like to learn more about the Time Out Camper visit my site here at openroadoutfitters.com feel free to drop me an email. So until next time, this is Dale Coiner for Open Road Outfitters, wishing you many happy journeys.